This is a really short video walking through qu uh, three quick examples of how to take an equation that is currently in exponential form, and I'll show you what that means in just a second because you're probably looking at this guy. That doesn't look like exponential form, uh, but we're going to we're going to change it from exponential form into its equivalent logarithmic form. Okay, um, I showed in a, pre in a different video um, kind of the uh, the introduction or the nuts and bolts of logarithms and how to change from exponential to logarithmic form. So check out that video if you haven't already. Um, but let me just dive into this. First of all, you may be looking at this equation right here and saying that doesn't. I don't really see an exponent sitting in that equation anywhere. So what we should do first to this is let's change this uh, this left side of the equal sign, the square root of nine. Into its um, into a form where it has an exponent, right? But that's where we want to rewrite this thing so that it's nine raised to some power here, raised to some exponent, is going to be equal to three. So, hopefully, you've learned in a different course, maybe, um, or or somewhere along your algebra career, that uh, a square root can be rewritten as a fractional exponent, right? That's a fractional exponent is one half. So this is really nine to the one half is equal to three. It's the same thing as saying the square root of nine. Okay, so now that this is in exponential form, how do we rewrite this whole thing in logarithmic form? Well, we start with the word log, and then the next thing that comes up, the next thing you're going to write is the base. In this case, the base is nine, so that's going to be written as a subscript. And then back on the same kind of the main line here is where the word log is. All right, so this we went down to the subscript to put our base. Um, so back here goes the answer part, what I call the answer part, and that's in this case it's the the uh, the number on the other side, the equal sign. So that's a three, and then we'll write equals, and all by itself, isolated all by itself, is that exponent. So the exponent is one half right here, one half, and there it is. You've just rewritten this uh, uh, exponential equation in its equivalent logarithmic equation. It looks just like that. Now, I put dotted lines here. You won't, you won't see that or write that um, in, in, you know, mem on my math lab or on your homework. OK, here's another example. Let's try, let's try this one. Let's slide this down. Let's give this one a go. So I've got 1 16th is equal 4 to the negative 2. All right, so again, uh, we're going to go straight into its equivalent logarithmic form. OK, let's do its equivalent logarithmic form. So we start with the word log. What is the base in this case? Okay, this time the base is on the other side of the equal sign. Right, this right here is my base. This guy here is my exponent. That's my base. So I'm going to go subscript four. On the same line as the word log goes the answer part, which in this case is one sixteenth, and it's equal to my exponent, which is a negative two. So there it is in its equivalent logarithmic form. Pretty cool. Um, just keep in mind, I mentioned this in my other video, a logarithm is an exponent. A logarithm is an exponent. A logarithm is a way of rewriting an equation so that you isolate the exponent. Now the exponent, look, the exponent is all by itself over here. All right, this is our, this is our exponent that we started with, negative two. And so this right here is also an exponent. A log is simply just an exponent. That's all it is, all of this stuff here is equivalent to negative two. All right, let me give you one more quick example, and then this video is done. How about this one? I'm kind of being a little facetious here, but let's try this one out. Ready? I've got the fifth root of some stuff is equal to whatever the answer is, some answer, OK? Now, this is pretty funny. Um, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense mathematically, but what do we mean by a fifth root? Is there another way to rewrite stuff, the fifth root of stuff? Oh, yeah, we could rewrite this thing here. All right, we could rewrite it as um, stuff raised to the one fifth. Remember a moment ago we had the square root of nine, and what's actually going on here? Let me bring this back for a second. What was actually going on with the square root of nine is there is an index sitting right here. Right? There's an index sitting right here in this little box, and if you don't see a number sitting in that box, then it's an understood two. Right, so that's called an index right there, and if if you don't see the index, it's an understood two. So that's why whatever your index is is going to move to the denominator of the exponent. Right, so if this was an understood two, it moves to the denominator of the exponent. Same thing here. This time it wasn't a two, so I had to show you that it was a five, but that five moves to the denominator of the exponent. Right, and then equals 
my answer over here. Okay, so now it's probably easier to see that this is really in exponential form. How do we rewrite it in logarithmic form? Well, let me just slide this up for a second. So we'll start with the word log. We'll put as a subscript our base. In this case, this is the base right here. We've got some stuff as the base. And next comes the answer part on the same line as the word log. This is kind of a weird looking log. All right, it's got a bunch of words in it. And our exponent gets isolated. So our one fifth goes on the other side of the equal sign. And there it is. It's rewritten in its equivalent logarithmic form. OK, now it doesn't really make a whole lot of mathematical sense, but that's the same process for converting any exponential into a logarithm. Hope that helps.